All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so <laughs> today's gonna be a fun day because this is the first video I've uploaded in five years. Um, and I know it's been a long time, but I'm happy to present this Planet Coaster project I've been working on uh, for all of quarantine pretty much, uh, which is Lunar World. Uh, so yeah, I understand it's been a long time since I've uploaded uh, but I really wanted to come back for a while, and I thought this was such an amazing opportunity to show off my new park to you all. Uh, and I'll get into the details of where I've been later on in the video, but uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so, since this is a new series, I figured it would be a good I would be a good idea to introduce the park, uh, describe what the theme is, um, the overall concepts, the master planning I've done. Uh, and then later on we'll jump into an actual build that uh, we're going to accomplish uh, on the park today. Uh, so welcome to Lunar World. Uh, Lunar World is a vintage style park, essentially a, uh, a, a park set in like maybe the 1920s or the, or the uh, late 1820s. Uh, so it's, it's a fun theme, I've always wanted to do something like this ever since the vintage DLC pack came out. I've also really just wanted to incorporate all of those pieces into a, a park. Um, so that's kind of where this developed from. And uh, it, it, imagine it just being a, uh, a cross between a Cedar Fair Park and a Disney Park. Uh, the Disney Park having a lot of the well-themed elements, well-themed areas, dark rides, things like that. And the Cedar Fair parks, or the or maybe a Six Flags park, uh, having all of the uh, roller coasters, high thrill rides, uh, which this park, I'm trying to incorporate both of them. So let's jump into like the areas of the park and what I've been able to accomplish so far, just so we can kind of get our bearings straight of where the series is going to go in the future. So if you look at this map that I've just brought up on the screen, uh, it's you can see an area view of the park and we're going to kind of go over each section so the first section I'm going to show you is Crystal Cove Boardwalk now Crystal Cove Boardwalk was actually the first section of the park I built it's pretty much done <laughs> it's all done actually uh, we have it's it, it's like your uh, it's like your 1900s uh, American style boardwalk this is very heavily themed on like Coney Island and like other 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 boardwalks are kind of extinct. I've tried to incorporate a lot of themes that are involved uh, in older uh, older parks like that into uh, this boardwalk. So I'm excited to show you more details as we go on, but it's going to be a great thing. It's going to be it's such one of my favorite areas so far. So yeah, the next part is Downtown Luna, and Downtown Luna is basically like your entryway to the park. It's going to be a big shopping center with uh, with restaurants and shopping and uh, parking, which is it. So it's going to be kind of like uh, a downtown Disney or a city walk that you've seen at Universal and Disney parks. Uh, it's you don't have to pay to actually go there, but it's it's like a good alternative for people who don't have the money to actually pay for a park ticket. The next portion is steampunk, and I have a question mark there because I don't really know exactly what I want to do there. Um, I know I want to make it a theme, steampunk, steampunk theme, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to name it yet. Uh, I've built a couple rides there. You can see I have a big black building, which is actually a uh, show building for a very large dark ride that I've already completed, and I'll show you guys that probably later on. Um, I'm excited to share that as well. And then uh, an inverted BNM, and I'm just, you know, it's interweaving right now. We'll, we'll figure it out, but I'm excited to show you guys what I build in this area once I get there. The next area we have is Clemente Islands. Now, Clemente Island is kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a place where uh, guests can stay if they want to stay on property, uh, but it's far away from the hustle and bustle of the park. There's a ferry service that takes you to and from the park, and there's also a sky tramway that takes you to the island. Uh, there's beach houses, dining, restaurants, um, hotel rooms on that island. So it's a kind of a, it, it, you know, it's a it's more of a resort for the park in, in essence. But it's similar to Downtown Luna, where it, you don't actually have to pay to go there. It's just open up to the public, but. Um, 
you know, so it's, it's a fun area, I would say. And finally, the area that I'm most excited for is Discovery Mountain. And Discovery Mountain is more or less a portion of the park that is based on an old Disney Disneyland concept that never came to be, which was uh, Discovery, I believe it's called Discovery Bay. Um, so it was a lot of like, I guess it was, <laughs> I don't really know what it was. It was like a, um, it was like supposed to be a theme for an age of discovery and it had like blimps and a lot of these kind of like vintage vibes that I also am including in my park. So when I heard about it, I was like, oh, that's so great. I want to include something like that. Um, so we're going to have like a volcano where I have a Horror Heights ride built so that I still need to complete. Um, it's going to be like a lot of cool mountains. I'm thinking maybe like a San Francisco vibe, like a California Gold Rush vibe. So, uh, well, I'm excited to develop that area as well. So yeah, uh, I guess now that we've kind of run over the park, uh, let's jump into the build. All right, so for today's build, we're gonna be doing a project in the Discovery Mountain portion of the of the park. And uh, we're, we're pretty much gonna be building a bridge for a train to run over to connect to our central train hub. Uh, you can kind of see um, off in the distance over there. Uh, <laughs> currently the track is floating, so we need to build a bridge here. Um, so the inspiration that I'm gonna take is probably from like a San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge uh, suspension bridge type vibe. Uh, even the Bay Bridge is another big inspiration. Uh, so something like that. I think it'll be a pretty big focal point of the of the area. Specifically, you know, a lot of people will be looking over in this area, and I wanted this to look pretty cool and fun. So. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll just, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think, so let's just jump into the time-lapse. All right, so let's get on with this time-lapse. Uh, so right now, we're just kind of laying out where this bridge is gonna go, how wide it's gonna be, where the two ends are gonna meet, where the suspensions are gonna go, um, all that great stuff. So that's you know mainly what we're laying out here. Um, it was actually kind of difficult because I had a lot of different rides that I had already sort of planned out and I wanted the bridge to interact in them in a way but also not conflict the overall view. So for example, you can see my uh, this red roller coaster that I have planned is going right through where one of the spires are gonna go and the train route just didn't make sense. So that's what I'm kind of correcting here. Um, this park is very interesting in that I wanted to make everything sort of interweave in itself and uh, you know including this bridge here uh, that's you know been my major goal the goal as well is to make this park extremely compact um, and it fit as and fit as many rides as I can into one area uh, just because I think it's so cool when everything sort of is weaving in and out of stuff and uh, that's how you can see like this blue roller coaster I have and this the red and the train and you know it's everything that I've I've always wanted to build a park like this, and that's kind of what I wanted to accomplish here. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm building a, a truss structure that's going to go under the train, and this essentially is meant to support the train itself and hold up where the suspensions are going to go. Um, if you look at the Golden Gate Bridge or even the Bay Bridge, you'll see these this truss-like structure going uh, under the road. So that's pretty much what I'm constructing here. And once this started going in, I was like, oh man, this is gonna look so cool. I love I love the color green that I picked. I think it goes well with the mountain in the back. Uh, the mountain's gonna be decked out with like rocks and trees and all kinds of fun stuff, but I think this color is gonna go well when that, uh, whenever that goes in. Who knows when I decide to add all that foliage, but um, it's gonna look amazing when that does happen. So yeah. Um, just kind of moving things around and right now I'm building the suspension that's actually going up the side you know to connect to those two towers and this was actually the hardest part I would say uh, it was difficult to make the curve look realistic as if it were a real suspension bridge but you know obviously I can't drape down uh, you know big cables and have them behave naturally as they would in, in real life so I had to do you know artificially and uh, I think it came out well. I kind of just winged it. I was like, all right, I'll just make a curve, start like rotating the piece and see what happens. And um, eventually I think it worked out. So yeah, um, right now I'm trying to figure out a color to make 
the two ends of the of the bridge where the suspensions are held and that was you know these, these pieces were it's, it's kind of difficult because sometimes the shading didn't really work with the shading that I have on the uh, the iron pieces so uh, got that fixed uh, but yeah once these have gone up um, it's pretty uh, from there it kind of just fell into place you know I fixed the cables added these added some more detail to them and um, you know it came together pretty well I think so I guess jumping away from the build a second, I wanted to talk about where I've been, why I haven't made videos in five years and why I've randomly decided to come back. Um, and that's pretty much because I just missed YouTube. I remember when I was making it all those years ago, I had a lot of fun and I kind of just lost interest in Minecraft and that's kind of that's pretty much the reason why I didn't make videos at, after that point uh, Life got a hold of me too. I was in college at the time and Studying was just really intense a lot of work was going on involved with that and I just needed to focus on my career and focus on You know what I was gonna do with my life um, and YouTube, you know took up some time for that so I decided to take a very long break. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was ever actually, actually ever going to come back, but here I am. <laughs> I, like I said, I missed it. Wanted to do something new, and I've been playing Planet Coaster. I've been, well, I've been playing Planet Coaster for a while, but this park actually really sparked uh, a lot of interest with Planet Coaster and me. And um, you know, I started this right when quarantine had started, like around March, April. And, you know, ever, I've been working on this ever since and, you know, it's just evolved into something that's a lot bigger than I would have ever expected. You know, I planned this park to be very small, very um, compact, uh, but not having like a lot of rides, but I just kept getting into detail and detail and I wanted to make it bigger and better. And that's where I am today. So <laughs> um, I'm happy to be sharing it now. And um, I feel like I'm a little bit too late because I've already built so much of it. This park already has so much story to it that uh, I really want to get into someday. But you know, I, I figured it's never too late to start and share what I've always wanted to share for so long. So there I am, and I'm I'm loving it so far. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, kind of trying to get back into how to make YouTube videos. <laughs> It's been years and years. I used to have a, a system down, but you know things have changed drastically. So um, yeah, so here I am. <laughs> so I guess getting back to the builds, uh, we're just sort of extending out the bridge. Um, right now we're just about to extend it out across a subway station that I have. And like I said at the beginning of the video, or earlier on in the video. Uh, we're connecting this up to a train station that we have further uh, off to the right hand side. You could kind of probably see um, where the actual track ends up. So we're, uh, you know, I wanted to add different types of bridges, different character, and there's a portion of this of the Golden Gate Bridge where it has a sort of under curved arc and uh, I wanted to incorporate something like that as well. I think different bridge designs are pretty interesting. I was looking at some images on Google and, you know, just trying to figure out what bridges look like, you know, uh, architecturally how they look like and how they, you know, how they're actually supported. So yeah, I just wanted to replicate that here and I think it was really cool if I could build it over the subway station where the other train actually runs. Um, I think it looks cool. I'm going to add a lot of detail. Uh, a, a lot of this park, like I said, is having things that are at varying heights and at varying uh, levels and different views. The facades are a big thing for me here, so I wanted to make sure things weren't being blocked, and you know that's part of the reason why I, I plan so much for these, you know, this bridge and other structures that go in my park. Uh, so yeah, overall, it's um, I think it turned out great. We're kind of nearing the end of the video. I'm just building one last sort of bridge to connect up to the train station um, and, you know, just finishing out some details. This bridge is actually covering where the park entrance is going to go. This is like the second entrance to the park, so um, we're going to have to figure out a good way to uh, decorate this, but, um, you know, I'll figure that out <laughs> eventually. Uh, but yeah, so we're kind of nearing the end of the time lapse. Thank you for watching this video uh, I'm so happy to be back and let's jump into the b-roll of the bridge mm -hmm. 